Christians have different Bibles? According to Muslims, the answer is yes. Christians have different Bibles. Example, they will see King James Version, Revised Standard Version, English Standard Version, so many versions. Christians have different Bibles. Unlike we Muslims with only one Quran, wherever you go in the world. In this video, we want to respond to this assertion of Muslims and this argument of Muslims against Christianity. My beloved, indeed, what Muslims normally refer to as different Bibles are not different Bibles in the true sense of the word. What Muslims normally cite as examples of different Bibles are not different Bibles, but rather different English translations of the Holy Bible. My beloved Muslim, Christians do not have different Bibles, but we have different English translations of the Bible. I have with me the New King James Version. This is not a different Bible, but this is a different English translation. Okay? The Bible originally was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. Hebrew for the Old Testament and Aramaic also for the Old Testament. Then we have Greek for the New Testament. I have with me the original Bible, the other Bible in its original language. Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. This is the Bible in its original word, text. This is the Greek for the New Testament, then Hebrew for the Old Testament. Perhaps you have not seen some before. Okay, so don't say that you Muslims have the original Quran, that's the Arabic, but Christians, they have different Bibles. And examples of the different Bibles are King James Version, New International Version, Revised Standard Version, New American Standard Version, Christians have different, different versions of the Bible, but we Muslims have only one Quran. That is not true. Christians have only one Bible in the original Hebrew, Greek, and what? Aramaic. But from this original language, we have different translations. Because most of us cannot, or most Christians, cannot read the Bible in those languages. And God wants the Bible to be known by everybody. God wants the message of the Bible to reach everybody, or to reach everyone on earth. That's why right from even at the time of Jesus, we see translations of the Bible uh, taking place. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit through the apostles translated the gospel of Jesus into several languages so that people could hear about Jesus and respond to him. Now, if different translations of the Bible imply that Christians have different Bibles, should we also say that Muslims have different Qurans because we also have different English translations of the, uh, of the Quran. With me here are three different English translations of the Quran. This is the popular Yusuf Ali translation of the Quran. Muslims watching me, my dear Muslims, is this a different Quran? I have again the Hilal Khan translation, translated by two professors of the University of Medina, Hilal Khan. This is also a different English translation. Should we say that we have different Qurans? I have with me again the Quran translation by Maulawi Shel Ali. Okay, this is also a different translation of the Quran. So we have one translation, second translation, third translation. So should we also say that Muslims, you have different Qurans, you have you see Ali translation, you have Hilal Khan translation, we have Shel Ali translation, we have Sahih International translation. So should we also say? that we have different translations or different Qurans. No! I hope as a Muslim you object to this assertion. Okay? So, in as much as we have different translations of the Quran, but that does not make them different Qurans, the same applies to the Bible. We have different English translations, but that does not mean we have different Bibles. They are different English translations of the Bible. Just as you Muslims also have different English translations of the Holy Quran. And maybe you say, what we are talking about are not just translations, but even among your translations, among Christians, among your translations, King James Version will say this, NIV will say this, uh, RA will say this, so even the translations are saying different, and that, that is why we are saying they are different Bibles. My beloved, if we are Muslim, you know that one Arabic word can even have different meanings, okay? Christians also have the same problem or the same issue with the original Hebrew and Greek words. 
One Greek word can have different meaning. One Hebrew word can have different meaning. That's why sometimes you have different translations. One translation would translate the word this way, and other translators would translate the same word in a different way. Okay? So, these are not evidence of different Bibles. Now, Muslims will cite examples like John 3 16. If you read the King James Version, the Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. You see, only begotten Son. Now, when you go to the Revised Standard Version, the Revised Standard Version translates the Greek word as God so loved, God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Hey, the Muslims will look at this. You see, Christian, you are changing the Bible. Now, only begotten has become one and only Son. Only begotten Son has turned to one and only Son. So, Christians are changing the Bible. My dear, this is not changing of the Bible. The Greek word is over there, monogamy. The word is there in the Greek. It has not been changed. But here, translators are giving us different meaning or interpretation of that Greek word. This is not different Bible, but different interpretation or how translators understand the word, the Greek word. And they also go to the Old Testament. The popular Messianic passage, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. When you read the King James translation of the Holy Bible, it says that a virgin shall conceive, uh, a virgin, eh? the virgin shall conceive. But you go to the Revised Standard Version, it says that a young woman shall conceive. Oh, some Muslims will look at this and say, Christian, you see, you are changing the Bible. This Bible says virgin. King James says virgin. Revised Standard says young woman. So is it a young woman or virgin? Christians are changing the Bible. My beloved, are you convinced by this argument? But my beloved, the Hebrew word there is Alma. That Hebrew word is there. It has not been changed. It is still in the Hebrew Bible. It is in this Bible, the, the original Hebrew text of Prophet Isaiah. It is there as Alma. But King James is translating it as virgin. Revised standard is translating it as what? Young woman. This is not an argument against Bible, the original Bible. But the translation, just as I have told you already, one words can have different meanings in the original languages. The same applies to the Arabic. If you are very faithful or honest, you will agree with me that what I'm saying is the truth. Okay. Now, if differences in translations of the Bible is an evidence that Christians have different Bibles, should we also say that differences in English translations of the Quran means that we have different uh, Qurans? Yes, because among English, the several English translations of the Quran, we have differences. We have differences among them. And let me cite one example to my audience. Now, if you go to Quran chapter three, verse fifty-five, Surah Tal Imran, ayah fifty-five, we are going to read the Yusuf Ali translation of the Quran, Surah three, fifty-five. This is what the Quran says: Behold, Allah said, "O oh Jesus, I will take thee." And raise thee to myself. Notice this Quran is saying that Allah will take Jesus and raise him to himself. Okay, this is Yusuf Ali, one of the popular translations of the Quran. Now let's go to Hilal Khan, translated by two professors of the University of Medina. Quran chapter 3, verse number 55. Listen to what Yusuf uh, Hilal Khan also translates the same Quran that we just read from. You see, Fale, listen to how Hilal Khan is going to translate that word or that ayah. Surah 3, ayah 55. This is what Hilal Khan says. And remember when Allah said, Oh, Isaac, Jesus, I will make you sleep and raise you to myself. I will make you sleep and raise you to myself. But you see, Fale says, I will take thee and raise, you, raise thee to myself. But Hilal Khan is saying that I will cause you to sleep or I will make you sleep and raise you to myself. This, these are different translations. These are different translations. Okay? Should we say that we have different Qurans? Now, the same ayah, Surah Tur, Imran ayah uh, 55. You come to this translation, this translation even pushes it one verse ahead. So in this translation, that's the Shell Ali translations, it is not Quran chapter 3 verse 55. They have it as Quran chapter 3, verse 56. Now listen to what this translation also says. 
Surah 3, Ayah 56. In this translation, but the Yusuf Ali and the Hilal can make it 355. Okay, now listen to Surah 3, Ayah 56 from these translations. When Allah said, Oh Jesus, I will cause thee to die a natural death and will exalt thee to myself. Listen, I will cause thee to die a natural death and will then raise you to myself. So, my beloved Muslims that have been saying that Christians have different Bibles, only begotten, one and only, virgin, young one, therefore Christians have different Bibles. What are you going to say about this? Is Allah going to make this said die a natural death? As stipulated by Shell Ali translation, is Allah going to make Jesus or, or Allah raise or take Jesus D and raise him unto himself as stipulated by Yusuf Ali translation? Or will Allah make Jesus sleep and raise him to himself as stipulated by the Hilalikan translation? Which of these translations should we accept? Okay? Should we say that Muslims you, have, you also have three Qurans or three different Qurans? For we Christians that we know textual criticism, we are not going to make this argument against the Quran. But you Muslims have been making this argument against Christianity that Christians have different Bibles. Therefore, the Bible is not even reliable. Yet, among the English translations, there are differences. So if you see differences among English translations, you go to the Hebrew text, you go to the Greek text to check what the original is saying. And if you ask any Christian theologian, any Christian minister who is well trained theologically, he can answer those questions. But don't just stay in your ignorance and argue that Christians have different Bibles. We don't have different Bibles. We have only one Bible given to us in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. Any scholar or pastor who is trained knows these stuff that I'm talking about. Okay? So don't stay in your ignorance and be trumpeting unfounded allegations against the Bible. And if we're Christian, these are things that we should know or learn so that we can be used to refute or counter those who are making a series of argument against the Bible. We hope this video blesses you and help you understand the Word of God more. Thank you.